All right. Uh, good evening and welcome back to the Learn German Challenge. So today is a lesson 226, that is lesson 22. And we want to deal with the plural of the definite article there, but in the nominative case. Tomorrow maybe we'll uh, check uh, the accusative uh, case. So let's start. So in English, we normally add S. But in German, it's a bit uh, different. So, one is um, the masculine, the masculine and neutral uh, norm often uh, takes an E, okay? For example, so uh, the first example is masculine, that is the dog, in plural, the dogs, and in German, it will be der Hund, and in plural, it will be the hund so we have to add the e another example that is a neutral example let's say um, the bed uh, the beds for example so in plural it will be uh, in German, this will be das pet, it should be capital, okay? And in plural, it will be d. Remember, all these are definite articles. Uh, uh, in plural, they are d, you see, d. But uh, in singular, they are gender sensitive. Uh, there, das. So you'll have to go back and check this one. All right, let's proceed. So d. So here is pet, but we have to add e, so it's pet. This is the plural. All right, if the noun is feminine, feminine, it often uh, takes n in plural. For example, if you want to say, uh, let's say, mm, which example can we use, which is uh, a bit easy, uh, let's use uh, the cats. So here, we'll have the cat, the cat, in plural, it will be the cat. So, in German, so the cat, it will be uh, the cat. And in plural, it will be the cat. So, we have to add, we have to add N. Okay, so this is on normal occasions, but there are uh, exceptions as usual in this language. And these are, but not ex exclusive, uh, one is the nouns, the nouns ending in, the nouns ending in or er uh, remain 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 the same for example let's say the girl the girls 
So this one will be in Sinclair, it's DAS meshen. This R meshen, this R umlaut meshen. And in Prol, it will be, uh, let me use black pen. So I can't find, oh yeah, it, there, yeah, we yeah. are. So it will be D mention so it will not change okay all right so that is one two is some nouns so two some nouns add umlaut to the forwell then uh, suffix and also add suffix uh, e or er. For example, uh, if you say the mouse in plural is the mice, and this one is. Uh, does a mouse and in plural it will be uh, D this is a bit tricky to pronounce okay it's moes so you see we have add we have added E and here you have to put the umlaut so it will be more s and lastly is some nouns some nouns you add an s like like english like in english for example uh, the 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 baby. So you say the babies, for example, in English. But in German, this will be uh, das because it's neutral. Das baby, and in plural, it will be. D babies, so you add S babies. Okay, so it looks so weird there. Eh? All right, until tomorrow, good day, eh? nuts.